Hi everyone, in this quick video I will show you how to get up and running with Spacewalk, the ambient chord progression generator, inside a few popular doors. We're going to take a look at Logic Pro, Ableton Live, Bitwig and then finally Cubase. So no matter what you use, you will soon be creating smooth, evolving chords in no time. In Logic Pro, it's very easy to use Spacewalk. All you need to do is go into the MIDI effects, look for audio units, find higher plane software and choose Spacewalk. It'll then pop up the window. And it looks blank at the moment because we've not added an instrument. So we'll go into instruments, we'll choose Serum 2 and go into one of the signs of life, Ancient Technology 3, and we'll just choose uh, Broken Promises. That's a nice one. So now you can see that Spacewalks created its first progression and you can randomize that however you like and change uh, any of the dials that you like. I'll just dial down the smoothness, uh, put up the suspension, and that's good enough for me. And all you need to do is press play Spacewalk starts creating the chord progression. Nice and easy. So in Ableton it's also quite simple to get Spacewalk working although there is a little bit of a difference in the way that Ableton handles uh, plugins like Spacewalk that only output MIDI. So the way to do it in Ableton is uh, just find yourself a synth. So we'll use pigments on this one. And uh, I will choose something from uh, Signs of Life Chromatics. And I will just use Sculpture of Stars because that's a nice one. Then go to your plugin, find higher plane software and spacewalk and drop it into an empty lane. Uh, what I'm then going to do just for ease is rename that to Spacewalk. And I'm going to put it on this one in D minor. Change the richness, adjust the suspension, pull down the smoothness, uh, open up the sparseness a little bit more, do a few randomizations. Uh, make sure that loop is checked. If you don't have that checked and you're um, playing past the length of your progression you won't actually hear anything so make sure that you've got loop checked then once you've done all of that um, on the track that you've got your synth for the MIDI from choose that to spacewalk then you've got your second uh, drop down here on some instances make sure that that says spacewalk as well and then really importantly just down in the bottom left where it's got arm recording make sure that that is ticked once you've done that, all you need to do is press play and Spacewalk will do its thing and create the progression for you. For Bitwig, it's also uh, really, really easy to get Spacewalk working in Bitwig. All you need to do is go to your list of plugins, find Spacewalk, drag it into the block at the bottom. Uh, your UI then pops up for this one. Let's say uh, G, we'll go with Dorian on this one. Let's just go for triads. Let's stick a bit of suspension in, uh, tweak the sparseness, tweak the flow, drop down the smoothness, up surprise and let's change the register ever so slightly great we've got that one all set up uh, then go grab your synth for this one I'll use vital you just drop your synth straight after spacewalk uh, find yourself a preset I'm going to use one from anomaly 4 uh, if I just look for one Ethereal Drifter. Yeah, that's beautiful, that one. And then all you need to do, press play. 
and Spacewalk will take over with a gorgeous chord progression. Cubase is another one that takes a little bit of setting up, but again, it's not too difficult. So right click in this bottom area and add effect track. Make sure that you choose spacewalk from the effects. Now you should be able to find it in the other category. And then just add the track and it will pop in there. Then what you do, right click again, add track. Uh, go to instrument and find the synth of your choice. We're going to use vital on this one and make sure that uh, for your MIDI inputs, you choose that to the plugins and spacewalk. Once you've done that, press the add track button and your synth will pop up. So for this one, again, we're going to choose something from Signs of Life. We're going to go to Anomaly 4 and we're going to use the Breach pad because that's a beautiful sound. Back to Spacewalk. Uh, for this one, I'll stick it in a minor. Um, I'm going to change the register up. I'm going to bring the richness down a bit, a uh, little bit of suspension, tweak the sparseness up. Tweak the flow, bring down the smoothness, add some surprise, add a little bit more natural. Uh, and then we can use the zoom level to see the entire progression over here. And then once we've got that, all you do is press play and Spacewalk kicks in. Remember, every door handles MIDI routing a little differently, but the concept's always the same. Spacewalk needs to send its MIDI output into your instrument track. So if you get stuck, check your door's manual or support site for details, and happy composing, and enjoy the weightless harmony.